Heather. Uh, Nigel and I are waiting to start the live portion of this particular fiesta, but uh, this this is going to be a special sort of video because we're going to actually this live stream with a pre-recorded little bit about these two new styles, one of which I'm wearing right now. This is my Anya style. I listen to you guys when you say, you wish I would do this or you wish I would do that. So people said that they wish that I made a slightly higher end open cap wig without heat friendly fibers. So I've gone ahead and done that here. Um, I've made two new wigs. This is Anya. I've also made one called Mirabella. And I'm going to give you a really brief summary of both of these styles as well as the collection that they are the debut styles from. So first of all, let me talk about the collection. The collection is called Wigs Forever. And you know, the little mascot's a happy unicorn because I thought that's kind of cute. Nice little compliment to our mythical kitty. The difference between the two lines is that the regular Sister Wigs Limited line is heat friendly and they're definitely meant to be fashion wigs. You can wear them as your everyday wigs. You know, so that's gonna be like Ambrose, Ainsley and friends. Um, they're great wigs, particularly at that price point. And these wigs, spoiler alert, are not gonna be at the same price point because they're a more premium product. So they're probably going to be a little bit closer to like somewhere around 110 to 120, which is still going to be less than comparable styles by most of the brands that I carry. I've got comps that I'm not gonna name the style, but they're at like 176, 190, and 134.22 by comparison. So this will still save you some money. And unlike those other brands, I control the couponing. So I can let you guys get 30% off anytime. I want to, so I like that, <laughs> don't you? I wanted to take a moment to show you the packaging, which I also designed. Um, so you can see that we tie the two logos together in the front packaging. Um, so that way you can see our little tagline, where it comes from, it's cute, because I can't resist a pun, even a bad one. You can see that I designed them. And you can also see I designed the sideboards, I designed the top area of this, the tags, and I put a lot of detailed information on the inside of the hang tags. This will ship soft packaging just like Ambrose and Friends from the limited collection. So if you would like a sturdier box, I highly recommend checking out one of our premium wig boxes. They're very deep, they're very well made, they're very sturdy. I think that they're very much worth the money. So this is what Anya looks like when you first get out of the bag. She's flat, wiggy, not real great. The thing is, most wigs that have a curl to them kind of come looking like this. So I'm going to show you what I do to wake this up. Now, again, I say this every time. Don't do this unless you plan to keep the wig. Turn it upside down and shake, 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 shake that wig. Now we're gonna go one step further than just shaking this one out. We're gonna spritz it with a little Batiste dry shampoo. I like the wild scent. I think that it has a really nice kind of smell that isn't too floral, but it is really strong. So, you know, if, if the smell is too much, get an unscented dry shampoo. I can't recommend one off the top of my head because I like the smell, I use Batiste. Um, I'm also gonna use a wide tooth comb. Now the key with dry shampoo is you need to hold it really far away from the wig and you need to just hit it in little bursts. Now, because this wig, Anya, is short and heavily layered, I'm actually hitting the entire wig and not just the top. And I'm shaking it up after I dry, I put the shampoo on, so that way it distributes a little bit more evenly. I use my fingers at first to smooth that through the hair. And then I use the wide tooth comb to further distribute that. This will also help break up the curls and make it look a little less wiggy. But the goal with the dry shampoo 
on synthetic hair, and, and the reason why a little bit goes a very long way, you do not want to cake this on, is because it helps dull the shine. It's basically like spray talc. See how far away I'm holding this? And I'm just hitting it with little bursts. It's like a little white cloud comes out. And if you hold tip too close, you'll end up in a situation where you leave white streaks all over your wigs. So make sure you hold it really far away. And see how that dulled the shine? So this is Mirabella. This is the other wig that we are debuting. And she's a little bit different than Anya in that she doesn't have any permatease at all. She has more hair than Anya. Um, because part of the reason why manufacturers like me put permatease into a wig is because, you know, we're trying to keep the hair density down. And so that really helps us provide volume and adequate coverage without adding a ton of extra hair. Mirabella has a little bit of extra hair. She's still not super, super dense, but the volume is similar to our Ambrose style. Um, but she does have a skin part. And unlike other brands, this is not a rubberized, hard, nasty disc. This is actually cloth and it's very, very pliable. Yay. <laughs> so it's very lightweight. It's very comfortable. I'm going to do the same thing with this Mirabella, which is in Tahitian Sunset, hasn't been washed hasn't been combed. I've just kind of played with it with my fingers and took it out of the bag. I'm going to do the same thing where I zap it with some of this dry shampoo. Look at the cute little curl. Oh, so cute. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take Anya off, put Mirabella on, and then we'll talk about the inside of the cap. Just like our lovely Anya wig, Mirabella also has Velcro adjusters in the back with an extended felt nape. Both of these wigs have really nice structural ear tabs with felt on those as well. When we say 360 felt, I actually mean that there's felt all the way around with the exception of where the elastic is. So very, very comfortable cap by design. Silky hair texture. This is a non-heat friendly fire. Beautiful wave pattern here with the ends pointing down on Mirabella makes her look a little bit more modern. This wig has no permatease on it. So what she has instead is a little bit of extra hair. So this has hair volume very similar to our Ambrose style. There's a soft lightweight fabric skin part that can't be moved, but it is not a hard rubberized disc. So it's nice and lightweight and still allows your scalp to breathe. Long pre-cut rounded fringe that needs to be swept off to the side or you can trim it the style is a long, wavy page, same length all the way around. I designed every wig from the Wigs Forever collection to be essentially the most comfortable average size wigs that you can buy. They can be adjusted into petite average and out to average large. They're made to be very, very accommodating by design. I think that this style is beautiful on. She looks great right out of the bag, but of course, if you play with her a little bit and put a little bit of dry shampoo in her, you can really bring out the most of this style or also the Anya. So I hope you guys are ready for our live stream to begin. Let's do another little countdown to get really jazzed and then you'll be seeing my happy face and Nigel's too in just a moment. Hold on. Hello? Huh? Technical technical stuff? Oh. Yeah, we had it for a second. Okay. Give me a sec. I am still trying to get the hang of this, but I will do it. Okay. There I am. That huh? looks good. Huh? Hey! Huh? Okay. So, Hi. all right, good, 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 good. Okay, 
So I, I got your guys' messages that that was coming through blurry. And so I will re, it's already edited. It's already something that I can upload to YouTube. So I'll just do that. I'll, I'll like say, you know, intro, what this was supposed to look like. Intro, this time it's for real. <laughs> like, we'll, 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 we'll make it look cute. It'll, it'll go up. Um, and that way, uh, if you don't see it uh, at the beginning of this, or if you're on the replay and you're like, everything's blurry what's going on is there vaseline on the lens no i think it's just maybe the file was too big for this streaming platform because it was like 4k so maybe that was the issue i'll have to look it up for next time um i do have a little bit of uh powder in my eye <laughs> so i'm gonna use some of these uh lumify drops so nigel uh why don't you riff for a couple seconds so i can clean my contact lenses okay well, I'm not sure if you remember a couple of weeks back or not, but we were talking about Heather's cute little uh, stuffed Jawa collection, and I went off looking for him, and I couldn't find him. Well, I found him. He was in, the, uh, in one of our uh, cupboards, and uh, not sure if you can see this, but his eyes light up when you press his tummy. There you go. That's the sound of him shooting off his droid zapping gun. And then he says... <laughs> We love Jawas, they're adorable. Okay, I think, I think I'm good now. I just need to kind of keep an eye on, get an eye, oh! Ah, yeah. Tons, we has them. They're not good, and that's why they're great. Yes. Um, all righty, so yeah, again, my apologies if that looks really blurry in the intro. I tried, it was something different, um, but I think uh, we will have to work that out a little bit. I'm not crying, by the way. If you're just joining us, I, I just put in some eye drops because I was hurrying and like, like just throwing on um, stuff from uh, the Natasha Denona uh, Lila palette, just like all over <laughs> the place. And then uh, I used um, one of the shades from the Koi palette by Viseart. I highly, highly, highly recommend that one. I love the Koi palette from Viseart. They're not paying me to say that, by the way. I just love it because it's like watercolored and everything's kind of like um, chromatic or multi-chrome. And it's just super, super cool the way you can make everything kind of watercolored. So it really softened up this palette, which I wanted to add a little bit extra color to my appearance today because we're going to be talking about brunette wigs. Yay. Are you excited, honey? Yes, I do love the I, I do love brunette wigs. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty much canon at this point and everybody That's mine. Oh, sorry. Thank you. See, this is <laughs> my apologies. I'm not good at like walking and chewing and go at the same time. So I don't know why I thought I could like grab a drink and talk at the same time. But uh, I think it's pretty much canon that Nigel uh, loves me that in the dark colors, you know. Yeah. What's your natural hair color? Well, it looks best on you, I think. Not so much anymore. These days, it's pretty much like very salt and pepper. Mm. I might try to come out with a gray that actually looks like my gray. Uh, I don't know if you guys would be interested in something like that, but my my bio hair, I'll, I'll show you. I have, a, I have a, um, some hairspray in it at the moment to kind of help everything stay down because mm. I'm trying to grow it out a little bit so I can do a few more topper reviews. But um, can you see <laughs> that it's kind of like gray? I don't know if that's coming across, but it's it's definitely, it's not like the hair's even turning gray. It's like it's turning white. In fact, for the longest time, I thought my eyebrows were growing in unevenly. And it turns out that some of it was just coming in white. <laughs> so, <laughs> ah, middle age. What's that you're wearing at the moment? Heather? Oh, this is Mirabella. And this is in Tahitian Sunset. It's the one that I was wearing in the introduction that was real blurry and you couldn't see. Um, I love the way that this wig turned out. People were asking for all kinds of wigs that were like Ambrose, but people were saying things like, you know, hey, we would like it if it, you know, had a little bit of a nicer cap. Well, that totally does. It has a wonderful cap. Um, it's got an extended felt nape, premium Velcro adjusters, which of course are not a standard feature. I just thought it'd be a cute upgrade. Uh, we do have structural ear tabs that are also covered with felt. I call it like 360 felt because it's literally all the way around the cap with the exception of right where this elastic is. There's like a gap there. Um, and that's for stretch. And then it's got a nice band of felt here at the front hairline, which is slightly under knotted. We're having a slight problem, Heather. The, What's going on? The, uh, the 
if you watch for a bit, the uh, what happens is the video will freeze every so often and then start back up again. Oh. I don't. I don't know what to do about that. Okay, keep talking. I'll yeah, keep I don't. I don't. I don't see anything on the screen that's indicating something's up. Well, keep talking. I'll keep an eye on it. If it happens again, I'll let you know. All right. Yeah. It, I mean, maybe it's even a bandwidth issue. It's hard to say. Could be. Mm. So far, so good. I mean, it seems to have stopped doing it for the moment. But... If, if not for technical difficulties, we'd be a okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I don't know if I want to make you guys wait any longer. Uh. Are you ready to see some brunette colors? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Or, would you like a, a, a mojito, perhaps? Hmm. Yeah. You do drive a hard bargain. Yeah. <laughs> mojito? Huh? Okay, let's do it. All right. Yay! So here we should go, I, folks. Should I get out of your way? I, I, can, I can bring the table up. Okay. Just so you know, folks, this uh, recipe we had a recipe for low sugar mojito sent to us by Serene from our Moon Kitty Mix Up. Thank group. you. And uh, I modified it just a little tiny bit uh, for Heather because it's supposed to have uh, soda water in it, uh, you know, club soda, but Heather has problems with I bubbles. Can't do fizz. So I just. Uh, use regular old uh, filtered water. So here's what we're gonna do. And uh, this is complicated. <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully you can see him okay. Yeah. So just so I don't have to keep washing my hands all the darn time, wearing some gloves. And we're gonna get a glass and some fresh mint. That's it. One decent sprig. Take the leaves off of that son of a gun. I'm gonna move this chair a little bit. See if that helps the view. Okay. Yeah. Minimizes it a little bit, maybe. Okay. And then, because of uh, sweetener, uh, low sugar, we're using stevia because it already tastes a bit minty. Aldi brand. Two packets of the sweetener. Ooh. I'm going to see what people have to say. Oh, hi, Silver Streak. This I got on Poshmark. I have um, a real weakness for, I want to move this though, so I'm not completely covering Nigel up. Um, like I have a real weak spot for pairing really gaudy... <laughs> Uh, statement necklaces with t-shirts. I just think it's an interesting kind of juxtaposition. And I forgot the muddler, so I'm going to use a spoon <laughs> and bruise up the mint a bit. Let's see who else. Hi, Lori. I think everyone loves Aldi. Their, their private label stuff is pretty solid, too. Let's see. Boop, boop. Next up, go to Hi, Kimberlyn. One key lime. And cut it into little little blossom of four sections. Trying not to sever my fingers. Yes, please don't. <laughs> Open that up. Poke out the seeds that are right there. And I saw somebody say, let me see. Boop, 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 doop, 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 doop. Ah, Cheryl says she never sees this stuff kind of stuff on Poshmark. I literally bought this whole outfit on Poshmark, with the exception of the whoop and this, which I got from me. But uh, um, I you just gotta use the right keywords, like find brands that you really like and then search by those brands. That makes it a whole lot easier than when you're just trying to scroll through because when you're just scrolling on Poshmark, it shows you the same thing like two, three times over and over again. Um, and so it, it definitely uh, is easier to search by specific brand names and keywords. All right, muddling the line. There we go. And then a little tiny drop of lime, extra lime juice. That looks a little bit like Audrey too. Does kind of. 
and a squirt of lime juice. <laughs> and now, white rum. We're doing Bacardi today. You know how long it took me to realize that Cardi B was a play on Bacardi? It really? Oh, I didn't even know that. Ah, no, I don't feel so bad. Because I was going to say, entirely too long. But you win. <laughs> and instead of soda water, just plain old water. That don't seem too bad. Hmm? Yeah, see what you think of this one. And then while you talk, I will make another one myself. Oh, that's lovely. All righty. What yeah. me then? Huzzah! Let's see what else everybody else is saying. Boop a doo, boop a doo, boop. I like mint and the music. Beep Hi, Paulina. We're happy to have you with us. Oh, ba da ba da ba da ba da. Oh, somebody is represent um, suggesting uh, Tracy Ann suggests uh, Krista monk fruit spoonable sweetener instead of stevia. It's precisely like sugar. I like monk fruit. That's um. Yeah, you had some before, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I actually used to get um. What do they call it? Whole Earth or something like that. It's like the green packet. Yeah. That's like stevia and monk fruit blend. That's that's quite nice. Didn't 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 that um have a have a strange aftertaste? No, for a while? it's like I used it for for over a year, and then it just started to get a weird aftertaste. So I don't know yeah. if maybe I, you know, my taste buds might have changed or something, or if they changed the formula or just had a bad batch. Um, let's see. Oh, bum, bum. <laughs> uh, Kristen said that she didn't catch on to the Cardi B thing either. Okay, all right, good. I'm glad we're in this together yeah, now. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, and uh, Jerry also seconds the monk fruit. Ah, Serena. Hi, Serena. Um, she's asking a question about inventory um, about stuff. Uh, I think that the best place to get that information is honestly through my help desk. I do not work in fulfillment anymore. I'm basically working full time on our marketing and I'm designing a new website for our company right now. So that will hopefully launch in the spring. I want it to be a little bit faster and more mobile friendly. Um, and I've been working on that for, for a while now. Uh, I just, I want it to be different and snappy, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. Like I want the changes to feel really intuitive and like an improvement. So it's kind of a fine balance between the new and the familiar, you know? Um, so that's taking some time to really finesse. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not really up to date about the newest releases from other brands anymore or any of that stuff. Cause right now I'm just concentrating on this. I mean, honestly, this, this is an insane amount of work. <laughs> Uh, and I'm happy to do it. It's just I, I can't do it all at the same time. So I let my staff help me out a little bit more in that regard. And John, too. So if John's in here. Hey, John. John's thank in here. Yeah. yeah. Hey, John. Thank you for helping. Um, it's just it's really, really cool. So. All right. Hi, Melissa. Oh, and another thing, if you like extra mint in yours, this is something we found the other day. Uh, imported mint water. We got this from a Middle Eastern Mediterranean type place that we uh, found. Mm. A little splash of that. <laughs> and I'm nearly done, Heather. <laughs> nearly done, folks. We can get, get uh, on the way in a second. We well, found John. Hi, John. <laughs> oh, let's see. All right. Well, while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these wigs. I can hand it to you now that I've got them. Oh. You don't have like juice on your fingers, do you? That's why I was. That's why I was wearing my oh, uh, gloves. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna start with another Mirabella. This isn't a really dark color, though. And is it okay if I kind of block you? And yeah, get go ahead. Like, I'm, okay. just, I'm just making my own drink. I just don't want to be rude. No, I'm just making okay. my own drink. Don't worry about it. I have a hard enough time with being accidentally rude. I don't need to start doing it on purpose. Uh, so this is a Mirabella. This is in the color Ginger Snap. This is almost identical to the same color that we made for Annika, Artemis, and Aurora. So if you liked those wigs and you liked the ginger snap color, this is the same. So, hey. 
Oh no, Melissa said she was waiting for triple A. Her battery died. Oh my gosh, I hope you're not someplace cold. Jeez. Um, was supposed to watch with mom at her place. Well, I hope I hope that triple A guy comes quickly and that you you get there, um, safely. Not that's that stinks. I I hate it when that happens or when yeah. you have a flat tire, especially when you're in a hurry. That is essentially the worst. Oh, you know what, honey? I think I, I messed up. Yeah, what? Hold on, I gotta, I got the, I gotta have these in front of me, honey. I'm sorry, my yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, one of these is darker than the other, and after I'm looking there. at this on me, this is not ginger snap. I think this one is the darker color. So, give me a second. This is the ginger snap. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, I had them in a, in a, um an order on the rack but um well, i took them off in order on the rack oh uh, goodness uh, well this is not that color this is actually one that i designed to be a really pretty uh alternative to a two and now that i have the ginger snap here you know what mistakes are how we grow right whatever so i'm not gonna get too hung up on it but at least this gives you an opportunity to see the contrast the fact that the ginger snap is actually a really pretty ginger brown you know it's not quite an auburn it's still a little bit more brown than auburn. It's actually um, kind of like a six, almost like a 33 blend. So it's it's got that red in it. Very, very pretty. And this is Black Magic. I wanted to name it that to signal to women of color that, hey, I'm trying to make colors that you might like too. Because frankly, the best selling colors, generally speaking, um, when it comes to us Caucasian ladies are blondes. Blondes sell really 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 well like really well predictably well they're they're always in style <laughs> and so it's it, it's one of those things where if you ever wondered why it seems like um some of the some sometimes it's always a new blonde like raquel welsh just came out with a new blonde called sweet cream that looked like marshmallow blonde from uh beltress um like <sighs> hey honey yeah what was I saying? Because I got on a tangent. I don't know. I was watching this and to just making sure it wasn't jumping. Let's let's interact with the camera together okay. because Hi. I I feel like at this point I'm making all kinds of mistakes and it's live. I need you to help me. I'm sorry, my treasure. I was, I was watching to make sure this that this wasn't jumping. All right. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is Ginger Snap. It's warmer. You can tell. Um, and yes, I wanted to show that I'm trying to. Uh, make colors for a diverse range of skin tones, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't want anybody to feel alienated when they come and shop here. Sorry for the tangent. I know I just kind of like took that train right off the tracks. That's why I want him to talk more. I feel like I'm having an off night. Is everything going okay, you guys? It's it's still jumping, I'm afraid. But... Oh no. Okay. Well, I Di think Diane says it's live. No worries. All right. Wonderfully, says Tam. Well, thank you guys. And and I'm sorry if it's still jumpy and stuff. Like, I will make sure I make videos about all of these things that I talk about in this live stream. So if you if you miss any of the details, I will try to make sure that I do this in a way where you can play it at your convenience. Um, but I love how this color turned out because, like I said, this black magic is supposed to be like. Uh, a two, but in actuality, it's a 1B and a four blend. So it's not quite as dark as a two. It's like in between a two and a four. Just really pretty, natural, espresso brown color. And here's what the top of this looks like. I want to show you, I'll show you on Ginger Snap, how this skin top actually turned out because I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about it. It's not, it's not a rigid top see this is me playing with it so it's not it's not um a hard little rubber disc or anything like that it's not uncomfortable it's it's made of cloth and so the way it looks is like that is that actually showing up uh it hasn't come up on mine yet there's a delay all right well hopefully this is visible and you can okay, see now it. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that I showed that off because I think it actually turned out pretty nice. This is not a super dense wig, so it doesn't look costumey. It still kind of looks like a scalp. I can dig it. So this is Black Magic. I'll put the uh, ginger snap on now since I've been teasing you with it. And thank you for the encouragement because 
Um, sometimes the fact that it's live makes me really nervous. And I wasn't actually drinking until he literally just made me that drink. So usually I've had like half a drink before these things start. So I'm like, no, nah. because I wanted, um, you know, I've got the jitters because I'm nervous. And um, <laughs> usually, um, there we go. Sorry, couldn't, right. couldn't walk and talk at the same time. Oh, there we go. Yeah, usually I'm a little bit more calm, but I wanted to make sure that that intro played and that it went well. And apparently <laughs> that experiment was a, a learning experience. Mm. Well, that's all good. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so, oh, that looked great from the back from Wavy. Showing up great on the, uh, on the camera. Oh, yay. So what do you think of these colors? Well, I like them all so far. Yeah, they're great. That... Uh, that is just marvelous. I like that. Like, what's just your ideal brunette color? Mm. Don't really have an ideal brunette. I mean, I the, my favorite so far is is the ravens and roses you made, but um, <laughs> all the good ones, yeah, they're all good as far as I'm concerned. I like them all. <laughs> I, I can't help it. I just like brunettes. You are an adorable cheerleader. It's like, I love you. It's, it's like chocolate. It's all good. It's all good, sugar apart, cookies. Apart, apart from the Nestle, what was it called? Alpine White. Anyone else remember the Nestle Alpine White oh, from no. the 1980s? It was absolutely disgusting. It was like wall, wallpaper paste with fragments of almond, almond flavored grit in it. But that was quote unquote <laughs> white chocolate, not, not the good stuff. Um. Not that white chocolate isn't good as well, just that particular bar was disgusting. Okay. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah, I've, I've said my piece. <laughs> Do you feel better now? Lynn says it was gross. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, here we go. Boom. Hang on a sec, Loida. You will find out. Hi, Eva. Did I put you on here? No. Hi, Loida. Will there be a color like marble brown? Um. Well, you'll have to wait and see. I'm, I've, I've only gotten to two and I've got like a whole basket sitting here. So uh, I don't, right now we don't really have one like that, um, but uh, we, we might have one that gets you kind of close. So those are those two. I'm gonna keep these handy just for a moment so I can compare as I go. Because I think that's really helpful when you hold things up next to each other. I mean, are you guys with me on that? So <laughs> it's always helpful. Mm. Mm. So anywho, what's next on the Well, agenda? let's see here. I want to do all the Mirabellas in one go. Ooh, I'll do Ravens and Roses. Yeah, Ravens and Roses. Ray. I absolutely love. And and by the way, this one is Ravens and Roses. I didn't mistake it for another color. Um, Because <laughs> I love the way that this one turned out. It turned out so pretty. <laughs> like, let me get it really close up. Now, there are a lot of lights on this. And this is a traditional synthetic wig, like a Canicolon wig. So, you know, kind of like has that Noriko shine to it, but really, really pretty the way this turned out. And this, these wigs are really stretchy. They, they have an average cap size, but they can be let out to average large. They don't have a lot of extra room at the, uh, at the uh, crown though. They're meant to fit kind of snug against the crown. So you don't look like you're wearing a wig. But here's the coverage on the sides. You can see my, my hair's got more gray to it than this one does, but the dark colors work really well with my star sideburns there. It just turned out so pretty. It's a little darker than chocolate cherry there, Silver Street. Yeah, I would say that's probably the case. This is this is this is more like the um you know, like the 433 from John Renault, but not 433. Like the base is a is a four. Well, actually, yeah, I think the base might be a, a two, but the base is really dark. It's like an espresso brown, and then the highlight on top is is. It's not really analogous to any of the colors I can think of from any of the brands we carry. It's kind of like a 35, um, which or or like maybe even like a a, a one. 33. So it's, it's really, really like a dark red with some burgundy in it. Really pretty the way it turned out. 
And here it is up against the black magic. You can see that, okay, so this is a two because this is slightly lighter than that. So you can see that the difference between the base shade here and on the black magic. So this is, you know, if we sold a three, which I know companies like Forever Young do sell threes um, as a color code, as a step between the two and the four. Um, so if I had to say that this had a color code, that would be it, but it's not because it's a blend of literally a 1B and a four. This has a whole bunch of herbs and spices in it that I don't necessarily want to give away specifically, <laughs> but let's just say the base is darker and the highlight is, is very vibrant blue-based red. So I love the way it turned out in the heat-friendly or the non-heat-friendly fiber. Super, super pretty. All of the colors look more vibrant in a non-heat-friendly synthetic. So that's why I want to show you this one next. So is that non-heat-friendly synthetic? This is all non-heat friendly. All non-heat friendly then. That's that's the big difference between this line uh, and the Ambrose and Pals, the limited collection that we made. So I showed my Patreon audience this one already. And this was, an, this was I want to be real upfront about this. This was directly inspired by a cutler um, made by a company called, I believe, Spresis. But they don't make it, obviously, in medical wigs. So... I ran with it. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love that one. This is one we're calling Prismatic Ebony. I freaking love that one. Because, I mean, they make a completely different kind of wig than what we make. So, I want to wear this, too. <laughs> oh, please put that on, the Prismatic Ebony. Yeah, this one's super fun. And the base on this is a one. It's very dark. And I will show it up, the base of it up against the other colors. This is so rad. It's, <laughs> Clint would say it's super stinking rad or whatever. Super stinking rad. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. Clint from C Clint's Reptiles. Clint's, Clint's Reptiles. That's, that's a great YouTube channel we like every so often. He rates reptiles on how good they would be as pets. And he's just, he's just a super nice guy. Like the Mr. Rogers of the reptile world. He's so adorable. Yeah. I want to hang out with him. I want to give him a high five and a hug. Yes. <laughs> and meet Gus Gus. I want to meet Gus Gus. Gus Gus. He's got a tegu called Gus Gus. Hey, honey, can you do me a solid favor? What's that? And remove this table that you've put Move underneath my table. Because <laughs> I keep hitting it. And then the whole world shakes. All righty. One moment, my passion. Thank you. Of course, Cherry Co. So... Here's what the top of this one looks like. What is everybody saying about this? They are absolutely loving it. Somebody said, Lots of OMGs. let's see. Oh, thank, thank you, Julie. This, this is such a fun color. I feel, I feel like a Gothic parakeet or something. <laughs> it's like a really dark macaw band name. Dark McCall. Dark McCall. Yeah. Oh, uh, Natalie, you don't need to apologize for your language because, you know, as you say, this is Sister Wigs after dark. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah, yeah. No, occasional, occasional nice. cuss words are totally a okay. In fact, I have a banner for that, so I'm going to go ahead and play that puppy. All right. Boop, 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 that's a banner. Here we go. I've got a couple. All right. So let me show you what some of these look like up against each other. So this is Ravens and Roses. So obviously this is not nearly as flavor blasted as this one is. <laughs> oh, has Serene joined us? Hi, Serene. We're met, we made your uh, mojitos. Thank yes, you for the recipe. Thank you so much. I love mojitos. We should dedicate tonight to Serene. Yes, to Serene. Drink hail. Okay, so here's the other little disclaimer basically saying um, we're going to be adults, even if we're derpy ones, and we're going to drink a little and maybe cussing will happen, though we will not cuss like Cussy McCussersons. It's just if one slips out. Eh. Laura Jackson says, flavor blasted. That's right. <laughs> what, what's the thing that Emerald used to say? Bam. Is that I, it? I don't know. I, I never watched I think watched that's what he used to say with the... the, the I don't want to say flavor weasel. <laughs> oh, the spice weasel from Futurama. Yeah. 
Yeah, the spice weasel from Futurama. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, so this is this up against the black magic. So again, you can see that this is definitely darker. This is a one. And this, like I said, if it had a color code, it would be closer to a three. And then here's the ginger snap. Oh. So. Oh, that glare. Better? Oh. It's my face. I think I'm sitting too close. Okay. Let's see if that helps. Because my face was turning like, woof. So that's those two up against each other again and up against this. It's effing awesome. All right. So we're going to move on to the next one. Whee! And no silver streak. We only we only delete trolls. So, yes. you know, don't worry about it. If, if you're being... If, if if you're encouraging, then you know swear away if you want. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I guess the rule of thumb is just don't swear about people. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty safe. But you know, if you want to say something's fucking awesome, go for yeah. it. Yeah, fucking name. All right. Proper <laughs> job, mate. Proper job. All right, there we go. All right, so this one I should probably comb because of the highlights, but I want to show you this because Ambrose. Um, has a similar issue. When the wig has um, a little bit of extra hair on it, like this one does, the Mirabella. Here, I'll put the bang down a little bit, see, kind of see how long it is. There we go. Um, there's more hair, which means that there's more hair to the highlighted sections, which means that the highlights are going to show up a little more. So you can just comb it out and play with it and try to spread those highlights out a little bit. And it can make a really big difference. But yeah, if you see that like on your Ambrose or on this one, the Mirabella, don't <laughs> don't get discouraged right away because it's just a matter of these wigs have a little bit more hair on them. So the highlights are more prominent. What color is that one again? Then This is Coco Swirl R. Coco Swirl R. 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 <laughs> so you can see big difference, right? Really big difference between how wiggy one of these sides looks compared to the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and just comb this out. It's easier for me to do it and a little safer on the wig if I do it off my head. So I'm just gonna do that for a second. Are these colors going to be available for Anya also, says Jen. Why, yes. <laughs> okay then, There's, there is your answer, Jen. Yeah, so I'll be showing Anya too um, once I'm done with Mirabella here. Okay, Robin, that's the... Okay, Robin, ask that again when, when we've gone through all the other colors. Uh, she asked if we could uh, do the... Um, the colorful one to show the highlights dispersed. I think if we get through all these first, yeah, and yeah. Then do that. In fact, yeah. I'll do that once I get this on. I just, oh, okay. Yeah, well, just, okay. Just, we'll get to that in a second then. Yeah, because I can, I can model this. Oh, ah. Oh. Is this a basic and, cap uh, or a mono top? Looks like a natural part, says Natalie. It is actually a fabric skin top. And so, I'll show you again real close on this one. The prismatic ebony are. Right. So it's not it's not a rubberized disc, which some of these can be. And those can be really uncomfortable and heavy. Like here's where it is. And that's me folding it. You can feel it's in there, but it's not rigid. I love watching that hair go. <laughs> it's just flipping around. Like it's crazy. like a sea anemone or like a Muppet. Yes. Oh, we need some googly eyes. Java by Al Okay, give me a sec to get this all nice and pretty for my friends. Oh no, don't worry, Laura. We've we've got grays planned and silvers and stuff. It's just that today's all about brunettes. Yep. I let everybody vote on the community tab and I said, choose wisely. And they chose these, so. Oh, um, Melissa's asking if you could hold up the uh, original uh, Black Magic one to this one. Sure. For comparison. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so here it is. You can tell this one's a little bit lighter than the base on this one because the base on this one's a one, which is a true black. And then this one is kind of a blend between um, a uh, 1B and a, a 4. So 
I'm going to finish combing this one out and I'll put it back on for everybody. But here's the Cocoa Swirl R. It's such a pretty color. Uh, there we go. Swish, swish. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm struggling to get Nigel to pay attention to the camera. Help me. Okay. G give Nigel things to talk about because apparently he he's like into the computer, and I'm like, please talk more. Our friends want to hear from you. I feel weird monopolizing the conversation. All right, Deborah, you want to know why not a monocart instead of a skin top? Well, because that would make it expensive. Really expensive. Yes, very expensive. We we try to uh, we're trying to keep these budget friendly uh, during the uh, COVID uh, crisis. And once once things pick up for everyone, then we're gonna think about doing more high end stuff. But for the moment, we're trying to fit into people's constricted it, budgets. And Frankly, on a, on a practical note, it is incredibly expensive to, to do something like this. There's a reason why not every wig store owner does this. It's really, really expensive. And right now we're, you know, in these challenging times. So it's kind of a risk. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't take too big of a risk too soon. So it really is kind of like a practical matter as well. <laughs> like, because I'm using my own money to do this, I want to make sure that I'm being very, very conservative about it, you know? Yeah, and the th thing is, if these work out well, if these work out well, then we can expand in into other options later on. I do love the way this fiber feels. Somebody asked, do these feel kind of like Noriko fibers? I think they, they feel very silky. I rinsed all of these last night um, in just some lukewarm water. And so I, I highly recommend, you know, if, if you know, you're somebody who is sensitive to wigs when you first get them out of the bag, rinse them in some lukewarm water and just put them on a wig stand overnight. And that really does help quite a bit. And if you um, have a big head like I do, put a little bit of fabric softener in the water and then make sure you rinse it really, really, really well because um, fabric softener will loosen up the cap, which is why petite cap wear shouldn't use it. But it really does help make the fibers feel really nice. Um, <laughs> and I'm somebody who, you know, sells wig shampoos and stuff for a living. So I, I usually use fabric softener. I put some in the water when I wash these. So I'm gonna put this prismatic ebony on one more time just so you can see it now that it's combed since somebody requested that. Yep. There you go. I absolutely love that. It looks, just the brightness of it against the, the back. It just, what's, what's that album cover? The album cover with this black with a prism shining oh, through. Oh, Dark Side of the Moon. Dark Side of the Moon, that one. Yeah, something like that. That's what it reminds me of. Just, if you've ever watched Babylon 5, people, beauty in the dark. That's what that reminds me of. I know there are some Babylon 5 people out there. I know we've got some sci-fi fans out there. Beauty in the dark. So, here we go. <laughs> That's Absolutely that one. Marvelous. Let me see. Are there any more Mirabellas in here? Um, I think it's all Anya's now. Yeah. All right. I guess we're moving on to Anya. Does anybody have any questions about Mirabella before we move on? Serena was just saying, oh, my God, I was thinking of Babylon 5. <laughs> um, let's see. Paulina says, I can't remember. Are these medical wigs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here. Let me show you. Uh, let me see which one's the lightest because they're all dark colors actually that tahitian sunset that's on that table the tahitian sunset that's it's probably the, the lightest table. color in the room there right now go. it's going to be easier to see the cap um with a slightly lighter interior obviously so let me show you what this looks like oh serena's in the process of getting through it the first time ever oh ambassador kosh serena just gotta love that guy especially when they when he's when he's training the captain and uh says what's in there one moment of perfect beauty and that is where i get that quote from so this is what the side of the cap looks like you've got the nice belt and by the way some of the brands that um 
we carry did have started to do away with the felt on the interior of their caps, which is a real shame because it makes them stay in place better if you have like short hair. And it also makes them more comfortable. It kind of alleviates some of the pressure points. So it's a nice thing to have. So I put it on the ear tabs. They are structural, which is a big departure between most like fashion wigs and these. They have structural ear tabs with that little bit of metal. You have to push up against the sides of your head. It does stretch really nicely here in the back. Has an extended felt nape. Velcro adjusters, which are a premium feature. This one does not have any permities on it but you can see where the fabric part is, which I thought was a novel way of trying to avoid permatease on this particular style to keep it nice and flat on top. But it's really pliable. So the whole thing is designed to be very comfortable. Now I will say that the next wig, Anya is going to be even more comfortable. And so I'll show you her cap. So you've got the same big band of felt in the front here. Same structural ear tabs with that little bit of metal and the felt on top. We've also got the extended nape covered with felt and it's very soft felt. And then we also have these very firmly gripping <laughs> Velcro adjusters here in the back. And both these wigs will stretch really nicely though they're made in an average cap size um, this one does have permatease, the Anya does, because I wanted to make this kind of like a layered version of something like Parker from John Renault. It is not exactly like that style because it's got a lot more layering. So, and also this is not as premium of a wig. That wig has a monofilament part and a lace front and a really good lace front. John Renault lace fronts are beautiful. Um, this does not have any of those kinds of features. And because of that, she's um, a much less expensive product. So here is what the layering looks like up close. And I have kind of shaken this one out. And like I said, I, I got them all wet. And for all of these, I actually hung them on a drying rack overnight, clipped upside down to release more of these curls. So that's why she looks like this. And in the little video snippet that didn't play at the beginning, I show everybody what this looks like when you first pull her out of the bag. So even though I'm showing her with the curls kind of um, relaxed and released and dried upside down, I want to make sure that, you know, I did show, and I will show again um, in a standalone video, what this looks like before you play with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put Anya on. And I'm going to hand you these Mirabella's, dear. Okay. Here you go. Oh, all right. All right. I will set these aside. I'm put this on. Boop, boop, boop. And this is the Coco Swirl R. And because this wig, part, part of the reason, and I mentioned that this in the little introduction segment, um, part of the reason why wig manufacturers put permatease in a wig, now not always, but sometimes, like, in this case, I put permatease in this wig so we wouldn't have to put as much hair on it. I didn't want the layers to get weighed down by too much hair. So the compromise was throwing permatease on the top. But man, it's cute. <laughs> She's a cutie. Uh, I like this one a lot. Here, let me make sure the nape, does my nape, is my nape okay, honey? Let's have Before a look. I turn around. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, because I did that last time. I turned around. Yeah. Um, in the last live stream, and I was like, exposed. I should have asked first. Yeah. Well, Serena says, will Anya fit average large heads? And yes. well, it's fitting Heather, so yes. 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 Oh, no, I won't make a wig I can't wear. <laughs> like, it doesn't have extra spin. Well, this one does have a little bit of more wiggle room than, than the Mirabella, but, but both of them don't have a lot of extra space up here. So if you need more room at the crown, this probably won't fit right. But if it's at the perimeter, you're golden. Well... Natalie, my t-shirt is a bunch of Republic Con Troopers in serried ranks saying, Unite. <laughs> and for those of you asking, yes, Anya. Anya was named after the character from Buffy, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, except for her hair shaggier. But I just thought that this would look really adorable, and I always like the name. But yeah, Anya is one of my favorite characters from Buffy. I think she's like my spirit animal. Oh, and Robin, <laughs> thanks. 
Thanks for asking. I, I healed up like 10 months ago. He did beautifully. I, I, be, between Heather's care and my stubbornness and a good calcium rich diet, I was, I was up in about in two months. I can pick Heather up again now, so life is good. Mm. <laughs> Let me show you the profile again so you can see that this does not have a gigantic bumpet at the crown because I don't like that that much. It does have volume though. And it does have permatease back there. So if you want that volume, like for me, like I need volume on top, but I don't want too much. Well, you Geraldine, just... uh, we're, we're, we, we don't have the uh, statistics just yet, but the price point is going to be comparable to the other sister wigs wigs we have. No, it? it is no, not. I... Sorry. It, this one is a premium open ah. cap wig. So this price point is going to be closer to 110 or 120, but because yeah. I'm setting the price and it's my brand, you know, I'm, I'm already assuming we're going to offer 30% in-house discount on this basically all the time, because I like being able to offer people discounts and it's, it's kind of a bummer sometimes when I can't. So no, this is going to be um, slightly more expensive because she's more expensive to make. Like, obviously this is like when you get them side by side and you actually feel them on, you will know the difference immediately. And this is the Coco Swirl this R. This is the Coco Swirl R. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think it's time for another one. Okay. Kate is asking if they'll be available on Amazon as well. They will. Um, part part of the thing that I wanted to do by showing these off is I want to do a pre-order. And um, if we oversell on the pre-order, we'll just order more. And we'll let everybody know, obviously. Um, but we're only making these really, really, really small batches right now. We're literally making 20 at a time because we don't have a lot of money to throw at this. But if I sell a lot in the pre-sale, then we'll just keep making them and making them and making them. Um, it's just, it is what it is. But yeah, so this is the Ravens and Roses. And you can see that that's a lot darker. Well, thanks for, dropping, thanks for dropping by, Ava. Have fun and uh, whatever you're cooking, hope it's going to be tasty. Oh, yes. All right, so here is the Ravens and Roses. Ravens and Roses. I love Ravens and Roses. <laughs> You're so cute. Well, I can't help it. You, you designed that color with me in mind, yeah. so of course I'm going to love it. Oh, you so cute. I love you. It's a very Sith color. <laughs> very Sith. <laughs> Darth Hershey. Also, also, it's the, uh, oh, what is it? The, um, hmm. Trying to remember what the, I know in, in Mandalorian culture, black generally means justice. I'm trying to remember what red means. Honoring a parent, that's what it was. Uh, look, looks great when lit from behind. It's got a sort of dark wine colored halo effect. Lit from behind, kind of jewel tone almost. And here's what the Fantastic. front of this looks like. It has a hard front on it. Kind of like what you'd get with like, uh, you know, Jessica from John Renault or Jones from Aesthetic, except this has felt on it. Hmm. Serena says, just shut up and take my money. <laughs> I can't stop playing with it. These layers are so fun. And the more you play with it, the more intriguing it looks. I, I actually really, I love this style. I love the way it turned out. Tuck some of it behind the ear. Do that on this side. So here is the prismatic ebony. Ella, who asks, are you planning on bringing Vaughn back in Ravens and Roses and also chocolate icing? They, yes. They sold out so quickly. Well, that's the thing. If it sells out quickly, we know people like it. Yeah, we'll make and more. And if we know people like it, we will make more. Absolutely. And uh, someone was asking about prismatic ebony in a shorter style. Well, <laughs> this looks so fun with all these layers. Hold on, let me let me get this in place. Otherwise, it's going to look insane. All right. Andrea says, will these actually be for sale or done on pre-order? 
Um, I'm, I will not have these to ship until April. We do have 20 in each color that are, that are already in production, but we do not have them on hand right now. So that's why it's a pre-order. Um, if people would like to reserve one, we'll put that up on the site. We'll probably start with the brunette shades and then I'll try to show the rest off maybe next week. And then we'll do the pre-order for that. So that way everybody has an opportunity in one of these live streams to ask me questions. Um, that they might have about the colors in real time i can hopefully answer them and then you know that might help you figure yeah. out whether or not it's for you and even even if we even if we miss your comment because they're flashing by so quickly it gets shown on the replay so we can go back and check them so yeah. either way we hope you're covered oh how's the back look let me see that oh. looks fine yeah Just a little, a little straight make sure there. the nape is good yeah, next fine, next fine. There you go. <laughs> Usually, I look in the mirror behind me, but yeah. I don't. I don't have my little hand mirror. Yeah, got that nice peach bit at the back there. Yeah. <laughs> this one's so fun. Oh, I love this one. I love this one in this color. Yeah. Oh, it's a world of yes to me. Yeah. <laughs> look how bright that is. That is look. That just looks like such an amazing effect. I love the way that turned out. And I am working on similar rainbow colors for a gray. I would love to make like a pastel rainbow gray, maybe a couple different versions. <laughs> I, I would love to make blondes and I have one in the works that's going to be really sweet that has a rainbow effect to it. So I'm, I'm fascinated with really vibrant colors. Um, so I like to play around with them. But yeah, I love this. I particularly love this aqua color. That's so vibrant. I like the green and the yellow and just all of the colors, basically. It's so fun. Yeah. Like, it's the sort of thing when you wear it out, you know you're going to get complimented just because it stands out. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, goodness. Um, what do we got next? Can you hand me one? There, yeah, sure. Last one, I think. No, two more to go. Here you go. All right. Thank you for dropping by, Serena. Thank you. So here is, have a good night, by the way. Um, so this is, I believe, the Black Magic. Can you hand me that one just so I can make sure, honey? Because behind That's me, it, definitely is, the Black it is Magic. dark, and I have made this yeah. mistake before. Uh, yeah, here's the ginger snap. So you can really see the difference there. So here is Black Magic. Mary says, OMG, I'm getting in my car now to drive down there and pick that up. <laughs> Beans are healthy. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. Beans, beans for every meal. I had to say that. I had to say it. Had to, you understand. Had to. <laughs> I was compelled. I didn't want to. I had to. That was pretty good. Well, though I don't get the reference, I'm not as good of a geek. It's it, it's an old it's an old like campfire song or gag or something like that. Is Some, it something that little kids sing when they're trying to be right. edgy? See, I didn't go to those kinds of camps. You know, well, the ones I, the ones I went to sang like Little Bunny Foo Foo and well, stuff like that. Oh, little Ozzy Osbourne trudging through the forest, scooping up the field mice and biting off their heads, sort of thing. Sure. Who okay. was the good fairy in this scenario? I don't know. It's, Ozzy Osbourne. I, I, I always substitute Bunny Frou Frou for Ozzy Osbourne because it's darker and sicker and funnier, at least in my <laughs> book. Uh, I'm edgy. So. I made you laugh. Well, you usually do. <laughs> Nigel, my hubby, was joining oh. in with you. That's outstanding. <laughs> All right. And here is the ginger snap. And this is the last one of the bunch on the Anya. Michelle, there probably will be a couple blonde colors uh, in this, but we're just doing... There are absolutely blonde colors. Brunettes today. People voted for brunettes. I'll leave other options on the community tab for <laughs> next week. What's up? What's up? Serene says, very happy tree friends of you, Nigel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> happy tree friends. <laughs> Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> they're little angry buddies. Better stop up, stock up on those dark ones, Heather says Liz. <laughs> I 
I, I think this one turned out super cute. And, and again, in case you didn't catch it when I said it earlier, this is not how they come out of the bag. This is what happens when you soak it and then, um, you know, rinse it really well and then let it dry upside down overnight on a drying rack. Just like clip the nape, um, the construction part, like the nape part in the back of the wig upside down on a drying rack and it releases all those layers while it dries. So you don't even have to use any product. Like there's no product applied to this. It just dried this way. Mm. Oh, there's nothing to prevent it from drying out or um, from uh, flattening out over time. Right. So that's where spray comes in handy if you really want to keep it here. But oh, it's so cute. And here is what that front looks like and the top. And we do have more colors. We have blondes. We have some crazy colors. Yeah, I just showed them, but we have other crazy colors. Um, I do have a gray for the Anya. Um, so we have reds. I have Tahitian Sunset, which we showed you earlier. So um, we do have some plans for even more colors than that that I've already developed and I already have the formulas for. It's just a matter of, you know, getting the money up to do it. So just know that when you buy any of these wigs that we're making, that's what we use that money for. Any profit that's left over after you know, operational costs, it goes towards making more of these so we can keep expanding what we've made. Um, we will plan, plan to refill things, um, like for example, the chocolate covered strawberry and basically everything uh, in the limited collection colors because everybody seems to really love that color. Oh yeah, a lot of people have been asking about the chocolate covered <laughs> yeah, strawberry. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I feel you on that. So um, we're, we're definitely doing more of that. Um, I want to eventually develop a chocolate icing doppelganger for the non-heat friendly and the cocoa swirl for the heat friendly. I would love to, to you know, cross streams a little bit with the colors. So there, there are a lot of things that I would like to do. It's just a matter of, of when. <laughs> we're working on it, though. Two things I want to comment on. Soul Candy says, I mean, you're English, so beans. Well... Funnily enough, I'm one of the five English people who actually does not like baked beans. Don't like them. Don't know why, just don't. And the other one, this is this is great, from uh, Natalie, says, My husband is in a band, and when COVID finally fucks off so he can get back to his tour, <laughs> I'll be wearing prismatic ebony to all of his shows. Yes! Buffo! Socko, Natalie. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Oh, please, please send us a picture. We we won't have to just tell us if you don't want us to share it. But I would, yeah. I would love to see that. That would be great. Yeah. I love this wig. It's so fun. I mean, I really like both these. But Mirabella, you know, it's fun to swoosh your head around in that one because that one has that beautiful texture and it just it goes whoosh whoosh. It's so fun. You just want to whip your head back and forth. But with this one. Um, you know, the layers are just really fun to play with. So I, I find myself just wanting to go, oh. Oh, there will be pictures, says Natalie. Yay! I, I, I'm sorry, Serene, we, we, we didn't have we didn't have any of these right out of the packages. These were all washed before we brought them out. I, I do have some that have not been washed, though. They're downstairs. Oh, yeah. Um, if, yeah I, can, I can keep them going for a while while you fetch one if you want. All right. I will be right back. All right. Okay, so anyway, folks, yeah, while, while Heather's getting a, uh, a fresh from the packet one from, uh, from downstairs for Serene to have a look at, to the, so you know what, oops, went off again. Jawa, it went off again. I love these little things. Someone was mentioning. That's, that's one of the things I and Heather... And my mother, my mother is not a huge fan of uh, of sci-fi, but we all agree that J Jawas are freaking adorable. And Heather's shouting Utini from behind the door. Yeah. So, is everyone doing all right? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh dear. Heather hasn't drunk much of her uh, her um, mojito. I'll have to have a sip myself. Ah, yes. Thank you, Serene. That's an excellent uh, excellent recipe you sent us, and uh, much much appreciated. Not sure if we're going to get to another one during this live stream, but uh, delicious. Thank you. I think I might need a bit of a swirl there. Yeah, so how's everyone doing? Let's see what we got here. New comments. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Chug. No, I'm not going to chug. <laughs> no, she's not going to come back to an empty glass. I just wanted a, a sip to wet the old whistle. Yeah. Which one did you choose? I sent two. Uh, I, I chose the latter one. 
if I recall correctly, Serene, it was um, I chose I chose that one simply because we had more. We had the ingredients for that as opposed to the other one. We don't have uh, we, we, it was the one without the crushed ice because we don't have ice at the house. That was it. It was the one without the crushed ice, the, the non slushy version. But there is a slushy version as well. Um, Nigel, your tip about ginger heather sensitive stomach has been a drink game changer for me. Oh, Natalie, I'm so pleased to hear that. I'm utterly thrilled with that. Uh, we found all sorts of ginger stuff because Heather likes it. She found it uh, it did help with her her digestion and her sensitive stomach. And so she and I have just been looking for all kinds of ginger stuff. And we found loads of amazing stuff. There's um, there's one Domaine de Canton, I believe it is. It's uh, it's a ginger liqueur made with champagne as well. That's very nice. And the lady is back. Did you own the child from the Mandalorian? Uh, no, we, we haven't really got into that yet, but we do adore little Grogu. He is cute. And here she is. Oh, did you show them a Yoda? Oh, the Yoda. We do have a Yoda. I did buy Heather a Yoda. In when, England. Back in 2005, when she came to visit me. We got it in 2005 because that's when, um, that's when she came over and it was just in time for the... Uh, Revenge of the Sith, and we got a pretty much a life-size Yoda here, and he's, and he's holding a little baby Jawa. Yeah, a little baby Jawa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's so he's so cool. Okay, so I've got an, an example of the packaging too. If you want to see that on a wig this short, it's gonna be like this. So it's it's not gonna come in a box. It does have sideboard and hang tags that I designed. So here's the hang tag. And then, boop, boop, boop. Lots of stuff, juicy, juicy, juicy info about care and whatnot here on the inside. But I love our little mascot for this line. He's like a little zebra unicorn. I don't know why he's a he, but whatever makes him happy. So, like, I seriously don't know why in my brain I think he's a he. And I think Moon Kitty is a she. But since I came up with them, that's what I'm going to say. So whatever. They're cute. And I love them. They look happy. And then we have this, which is an example of this. Oh, and I don't know if you saw that on the top of this, by the way. But I named it this one Willow. I mean, I have to to fess up to the Buffy references right away. I'm I'm so sad about what's going on with Joss Whedon right now. But oh, yeah. but I still I mean he even if he is a turd that they can't take Buffy away from the fans. Mm. So I named this one Willow after Willow. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on, and it'll be way flatter than these other ones. This color this is Anya by the way, and this color is called beach house soul candy that's a difficult question as as for my favorite drink i have a lot of them but i'd say one of my favorite beers is probably uh the fuller's vintage series absolutely delicious really high test i don't know how the back of this looks because it's look. all it, i mean it, it's, no that's fine that's fine looks fine you can definitely see that it's uh, the curls are a little bit more clumped together than on the examples that I was showing. And uh, even if you fluff this up with your fingers, you would still have to uh, basically duplicate what I did to get that same effect, which is literally just turning it upside down at the nape when it's wet. And you don't have to use any kind of shampoo or anything. You literally just use water if you want to. And, you know, just rinse it really well or soak it and then rinse it and then hang it upside down to dry by the nape. I use like potato chip bag clips <laughs> to clip it in place. And um, it gave it this lovely, beautiful, defined, fluffy texture. And brought out all those layers. Thank you for dropping by, Paulina. Thank you. All right, so did anybody have any other questions or anything? Oh yes, let's see what we've got here. Uh, let's see. Dum -dum 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 -dum. I answered Soul Candy's favorite drink. Da, 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 da. Right, let's see. Here. 
Megan says, I adore a nice dark and stormy with dark rum, ginger Ooh, beer yeah. and lime. Never heard of that. We've got those. I will be making one later tonight. Oh, there's there's one. There's a drink that they make at the Manhattan here in um, oh, yes. downtown Athens, which is Maker's Mark and Blenheim Spicy Ginger Ale. Mm. That's it. And it's beautiful. It is a really great drink. It's just really spicy. So yeah. um, for me, I have to be really careful with that Blenheim stuff. But it's it's so good. Kristen says, I is super cute. Heather, did, you did an awesome job designing them both. Thank you. Uh, Natalie, I answered your question in a little post there. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it because it's a surprise for Heather. Oh. Uh, let's see. Paulina had to... Uh, Go, Toral says, Miss Buffy and Firefly. Me too. Yes, oh, yes. Firefly. Stuff. Firefly was so good. It's a shame they had to, you know, they just crumbled up and threw it in the dustbin at the very end there. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be surprised if I end up calling a wig Saffron someday. <laughs> like there are, there are just so many cool names in the Joss Whedon universe. <sighs> mm. Sorry, just a lot, just arrived. Love what Heather is wearing. Thank you. Who said that? That is Brenda Baum. Hi, Brenda. Um, this is Beach House, Beach House R. Um, and it is kind of similar, like in composition to something like Melted Marshmallow, but I totally tweaked it. I don't know if I even have a Melted Marshmallow wig around, but I'd like to show you the difference um, since we're right. talking about it. All right. You want me to uh, kind of riff for a might, couple might minutes? Be, might be in the cupboard there. Oh, but you think so? Might be. Then I will riff for a couple of minutes. Okay. You riff for a couple of minutes. I'll look in the cupboard. <laughs> Unless it's over here. Now you can probably see though how shiny it is. And I think rinsing it, like I keep mentioning, I think that really does help. Um, the concept of this is very similar. And it was in fact inspired by that, which is something that I think is obvious enough that I should cop to it like immediately. Um, but the root is lighter on this color. And furthermore, um, the midsection color has almost like a rose gold tint to it. It is not... Um, the exact same color that's in the blend. It's it's actually a little bit slightly like rosier. It it doesn't look pink though. If you like wear it in real life, it won't look like that. It's just meant to look interesting. It really isn't something that you'll notice until I stick this melted marshmallow up against it. So this is Nakia. All right. The color that they put in here is almost like it's almost like a 27 mixed with like a 12 and you can see like see this i don't know if you can see the difference here but this is slightly like their 27 is a little bit more ginger and the one that we use in our blend has a little bit more of like a rosy tint to it my color, um, the light color that's in here is also a little bit ashier. So the contrast in my color is a little bit more pronounced, but we did lay it out in a similar fashion where it's, you know, staggered to approximate a balayage color. I love this color. Oh, and it might be hard to tell. but our roots are also shorter. I don't know if you can actually tell that, but it's, it's minor difference in that regard. There you go. The main difference is the colors and the blend here in the midsection. So, all right. Oh, I love this little thing in the front to help kind of keep it out of your face if you want it there, or you could change the part around, but then you lose the benefit of that, which is why sometimes when I change the part around, I'm kind of wrestling with it. If you have that issue, just use steam because these are not heat friendly wigs. You would want to use steam, but yeah, oh, it's just so fun to play with. I can't help myself. I just want to keep playing with it because it's got all these layers in it. No, Melissa, you didn't miss an Illuminati. This is mostly about uh, brunettes, but we're, uh, we're showing one of these, uh, One's yeah. right up the package, and that was the first one Heather got. Yep, I'm actually all done with the showcase. Uh, did anybody have any other questions about either Mirabella or Anya here? 
Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Natalie says, thank you, Heather, for the most awesome, for the awesome, colorful brunette colors. I'm dying over them. You're like a young and beautiful wink fairy godmother, <laughs> making all of my punk rock dreams Yay! come true. All righty, excellent. Please, I need this right now. <laughs> Penny asks, and these go on sale. When did I miss it? No, I'm, I'm actually still um, getting the assets together because it's a lot of work to take all these images and stuff like that. So I'm still kind of in the process of doing all of those things. Um, and I hope to have them um, up for pre-sale next weekend. That's my hope. Um, the brunettes, I'm going to work on them color group at a time because of the workload and the fact that I want to just get these out there and start selling them. So um, I will put more options on the community tab. Hint, hint, very strong hint. Hey, wink. Uh, try make sure you vote on the community tab for uh, next week's color options. And those will be the next set that I not only showcase, but they'll also be the things that we do for the pre-sale that following week. So if that, if that makes sense, then good. <laughs> uh Mir Melissa says, is Mirabella 120-ish too? This will be 110 to 120. This one will probably be less expensive than Mirabella just because uh, she's shorter, less material. It's not as expensive to make her. Yay. Okay. I think that about catches us. All up. right. Well, uh, is there anything else that you would like to say to our friends this evening? Yes. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you, Serene, for the wonderful uh, mojito recipe. Um, Thanks for joining. I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks for joining in with all the sci-fi talk. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> love, love a bit of sci-fi talking. I'm in here. lost a lot of the time and, and until we start talking about the Whedon universe. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm right there. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, the uh, the Babylon Five and the what, what's the other one? Farscape stuff is fun as well. Might try to uh, get Heather onto that in a bit. Maybe we'll see how that goes. Might take a while because they there are multiple seasons on that, but uh, they're fun as well. Yeah, we're, we're all hanging in there. And uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us and uh, chiming in and asking great questions and all your lovely supportive, friendly comments. That's absolutely wonderful. And thank you, Nigel, for hooking us up with beautiful, serene inspired cocktails. Yes. And thank you for, for getting into the groove, Arr. you know, cause sometimes, and I mean, I want to just point this out. Sometimes it is kind of hard to get into the rhythm. And I even struggled this time around yeah. just because of all the technical snafus. Like I literally spent the whole day editing something that didn't show up. <laughs> so whatever, I will salvage it. I will make it work. Um, but you know, it's just one of those things where like it throws you a curveball and you're like, ah. and then the whole thing kind of goes boom it's like you know um dominoes yeah or like when i'm trying to think of of a good analogy well i keep thinking of of whenever the omicronians appear <laughs> on futurama every time the omicronians appear on futurama they have technical difficulties with their microphones i am lur of the is this thing on i am lur of the planet omicron percy i ate <laughs> You do such a good impersonation of Sir. Thank you. He does a wonderful Zoidberg, too. It cracks me up. What can I say? Zoidberg is a great guy. Yay! How is your stink gland today? You're right. My stink gland is weak. Smell! <laughs> All right. Well, I think on that note, we are going to uh, leave you. Have a wonderful night, everybody. We'll, we'll get this down eventually. I have all the faith in the world. We're making all these mistakes now so we can get them out of our system early. How's that? That sounds good. All right. Well, that's my story, and we're going to stick to it. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.